Hi, my name is Natalie Cavill and I'm a junior here at Bradley University. I'm a marketing and professional sales major and this is my sister Gabby. Hi, um, yeah, I'm Gabby. I'm a freshman and I'm an accounting major. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit more about the Bradley Brave pitch competition where me and Natalie won third place. Woo, very exciting. <laughs> uh, we worked really hard and um, um, we're going to talk a little bit, bit more about our idea and why we decided to do it. But Natalie actually had the opportunity to do this when she was a freshman. So you want to talk about that? Um, yeah, so when I came into Bradley University, I also had worked um, uh, back in high school actually um, at a place called the Center for Advanced Professional Studies. And I worked on a device that gave people passive range of motion while they're sleeping for people who have rheumatoid arthritis. Um, that's something that I decided to pitch here at Bradley Bradley after I had some practice with it in my senior year and given that experience to just talk in front of a big audience and get more comfortable presenting has something that has really helped me in my um, sales career um, and then when I knew that Gabby had this passion for her company that she had worked on I was like we have to do this together like it would be such a good opportunity um, she pretty yeah. much fought me tooth and nail. <laughs> yeah, I'm an accounting major, so I was very happy about being behind the scenes. I didn't want to do it at all. I don't like presenting. I get really shaky. I get really nervous. I, I talk super quickly. If you think I'm talking now really quickly, <laughs> it's nothing compared to like presenting. Um, but, you know, we decided why not? It's a great opportunity. So we presented a few weeks ago in, in front of three uh, judges and in front of a big panel of people. And there was about 20 other contestants. And um, our idea was um, an idea for a personalized online plus size dress store. Uh, say that t five times fast. <laughs> um, so really what it was about was it sprung from my own hatred of my spring formal dress. I was a junior in high school and like most people I went out shopping and I tried to find something that I really loved um, and I couldn't find it. So I resorted to online shopping and I thought I found a beautiful pink dress but it was, when I, when I got in the mail, like, now it was with me, it was horrendous. It was too big, it was super itchy, and most of all, it was unflattering, and it was uncomfortable, and I didn't want to wear it. But with only a few days left until it was being formal, I had to wear it. I really didn't have a choice. And I realized that my problem was mainly focused in the plus size community. In America today, there's over 60% of girls ages 16 through 21 who are considered plus size, but only find 30% of what they actually need. Um, which means there's a huge market left untapped. So what, um, how'd you come up with the solution of the online dress store versus just having one that was in a mall? Right, so just like Nally, I was at part of Center for Advanced Professional Studies where my junior year I was able to come up with the concept and I wanted it to be an online store because it's, you're able to have a more personalized connection. Um, it, when you do it in the stores, there's a lot of people all around and you don't really get to find the person that could help you the most. But how our dress store would work was um, you would go online and you would get a personalized questionnaire about yourself. So it's not just about finding a dress that looks good on you, but it's about finding a dress that fits your personality as well. And also, by the way, while we're doing this live uh, feed, uh, Facebook feed, um, you can ask any questions you want like about us or about our product. We're happy to answer. Just I should that out there um, but yeah also I think just going off that um, it's really stressful going into a mall and trying things on and hating every single dress you try on I think we've both gone through it. I think every girl in the world has gone through this and that's just kind of why we realized like wow this is not just a like me and Gabby problem this is a every girl everywhere problem so um, that was awesome that she like tapped into that, um, you know, hard, you know, issue. Yeah. And um, well, how were some of the ways that you actually prepared for this competition? Um, so after finding me tooth and nail, me and Nelly finally um, just like got to work. So we went back and researched what I researched in my junior year, and um, I think we took about a week to prepare. So we prepared like every day for about 30 to 40 minutes, just like going over our speech and making sure it made sense. Um, while we were pitching, we talked a lot about the issue, and I guess like, if I think it's on the Facebook, but not enough about how we're gonna solve it, so like, I guess we can talk about that now. Mm -hmm. um, so 
I guess like the main thing is we want like personalization like that's what every girl wants like you want to find someone who like cares for your needs like wants to make sure that you look your best and feel your best so after um, girls sign up online to um, find the perfect dress they get a lot of questions asking them about the dress and about themselves like what type of sports do you like um, what's your hair color like like really random questions but it just like makes the whole process a little bit more comfortable mm -hmm. and then our designers would um, send two dresses in the mail and if they liked one of the dresses then they can um, send the other one back for free and if they like both they can get the higher dress um, price off 15 percent um and we and i think there's still like a lot more that could be done with this website i'm even surprised it hasn't been created like quite yet because it's it just it seems very simple and it's like Hopefully, like, I think it's a really good idea. I think like many girls around the world, including me, would like love to have it. Like I, I just think it's really important for girls, especially plus size community, especially now, to feel like included um, when so many stores don't. And just to rewind a little bit, um, I didn't realize that we didn't explain this um, before, but what Brave Pitch Competition is, is it's an opportunity for Bradley students, freshmen through I even think um, <coughs> after graduate oh, okay. levels are allowed to do it too, but an opportunity to come up with an idea. You don't need to do previous research. We just happen to have that. Um, and just pitch it uh, to these judges and to anyone else who decides to come. Even if you don't want to pitch, you're welcome to sit in the audience, kind of get some um, great ideas. There were some awesome ideas uh, that were thrown out. Um, I don't yeah, there are some like very interesting ones. One of the coolest ones I th thought was that um, they had a girl thought of an idea to create. Um, um, she wanted, to, what did she want to do? She had the paint chip and she wanted to project that, uh, use a projector. Mm -hmm. And you want to explain that? I don't know if I can explain it that well. Yeah, so it's like the difficulty with um, coming up with like matching walls in your house to just looking at a small paint swatch so you would have this little um, colored chip that you'd put like behind a tr projector light and it would project on your wall what that whole wall would look like in that color so you could see if it fits the mood um, fits the almost feng shui of the house because you don't want to <laughs> paint a whole that. wall and then realize like this looks terrible yeah and um, but I think like what really helped us like go back um, and help us like pitch was Natalie is a junior so she's had a lot of experience at Bradley um, with the marketing and with uh, pitch and with selling and um, really really cool but um, she just got an internship at Frito-Lay snaps for that it's um, it's a really big opportunity and like that's a lot of, of help from Bradley um, mm -hmm. from Brad Eskridge who has helped her from start to finish who's a marketing teacher he's in business 100 he's in my business 100 class he's a great teacher um, so a lot of what we have for mm -hmm. the for this competition was because of Bradley mainly for Natalie's help yeah, absolutely. Um, since the second I even just toured this campus, I knew that Bradley was going to be the perfect place for me because I wanted that specialized attention from teachers and I didn't want to just be like student 382 in the back of a lecture hall. And they always talked about hands-on um, learning and that's exactly what I got. Uh, in my sales classes I've done role plays, in my marketing classes I have to stand up in front of um, classes and you know pitch different things, give presentations for different things, work with groups, work with teams, like it's everything I could imagine and more and being a junior I'm getting the opportunity this summer to work at Frito-Lay as a sales manager and actually have sales reps like under me it's an outstanding experience you would never get um, without having those you know personal connections through your network and having these classes to really build up all of those skills that they're looking for yeah so. and it's really really awesome and like also even though like this is a pitch competition and it really has nothing to do with accounting um, I still think it's very important to be able to socialize with people and to be able to know what you're talking about and say it well um, so I really think this competition and like Bradley in general has like prepared me for the future, especially in business, which is what we're both very passionate about. Yeah, absolutely. Are you interested in doing it again? Um, I am. 
sort of. I, I think it's like a great opportunity. Like, I feel like it made me grow. I don't know. Like, I feel like it gave me the, uh, like, the Tell them what you were doing before the competition Before the started. competition, I said, Natalie, we're leaving. I saw the list. There's, like, 25 people also uh, pitching. There's, like, 50, 60 kids in the crowd. And I said, Natalie, we're gone. Like, if, if, the, if the first person who pitches is, like, amazing, like, we're, we're just heading home. We're calling it quits. Even though we practiced so much, I was like, this is not for me. But then she, like, forced me basically to stay. And it was, like, best best, like, decision of our lives. Mm -hmm. We made some... We made some cash. We made some cash. We made some cash. <laughs> you never know. You can make some cash. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, struggling for some money. Yeah. You just come just, up with an idea. Yeah. Pitch it for three minutes. <laughs> Judges will love you. Very true. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, yeah. What are some of the other ideas that you remember from that day? Um, I remember a few. Actually, the one <laughs> that I think um, was really cool was both the modular guitar. Yeah. Um, that, that got first place. Yeah, so. he got first place. He, like, knew his stuff backwards yeah. and forwards. That was really, really cool. And then also there was a kid who pitched, um, it was for weightlifting. You add um, kind of these, like, one-pound small weights onto your bar so it's easier to transition from like you know the 15 pound to the 20 pounds it's hard to do that overnight like where's the 21 where's the 22 so um he actually created that and he brought it in that was another really really cool opportunity yeah and it's especially cool because um like you have judges in place who like absolutely know what they're talking about so like they write um, critiques on what you do like mm -hmm. for every single competitor and um, like we asked for ours back and we got um, I think we got maybe we got it back we got some good feedback yeah, we got some good feedback like especially like good and bad like especially on like presentation skills like slowing down talking very important mm -hmm. um, and that's especially in like if you're going to sales if you're going to marketing like that's huge like you really need to put yourself out there and you need to see if this is what you want to do and if you do it well like you're on a good path I think. and being able to take criticism it's just you know I feel like a lot of um, just like students it's very hard because it's like you know you've been told yeah. all your life all throughout high school that you're the best of the best and you know to be put in an opportunity where you have to like compete for things and you get criticized like it's a good it definitely helps you grow yeah it's a good because skin builder yeah, exactly. Because, like, when we did it in the Center for Advanced Professional Studies when we were in high school, um, we got – I basically only got positive feedback, but, like, I know that my like my pitch could have been better. But, like, you're in high school, like, they don't want to make you feel bad, but I especially could have done better, and I think um, – and when we got the feedback from the judges here, they were definitely a lot harsher, which is just, like, great – like, it's great to grow. It's great to know your mistakes and to learn mm -hmm. from them. So, because the second they told us, we were able to say, oh, yeah, yeah, of course, like, that's what we missed. We totally could have, like, had we done it one more time, like, there were so many things that we could have changed. <coughs> and um, I think at the end of the day, um, kind of working on that uh, solution and finding something for that problem, that was also, do you want to talk about that, um, going from problem stage to solution stage and if you had any other ideas along the way mm -hmm. I thought of like my first idea was something about um, government like I wanted to talk, like to be able to educate um, like youth more about like what's going on in the elections but I couldn't really think of how to market that and how to make that into like prop like to make that profitable mm -hmm. so it just like it really was like after my prom dress fiasco I was like all right this is what I want to do like this is what I'm passionate about like especially you have to be passionate about it like the kid who did the guitar, like, mm -hmm. he knew everything about guitars, so, like, he, w he was great. He was a great speaker. Um, but, yeah, a lot of it stemmed from just, like, wanting – I first wanted a store, but I realized the, co the cost of a store would be, like, incredibly expensive, so I just thought, like, online. Like, online shopping is huge nowadays. Um, and then it kind of stemmed from there. I think um, I wrote, like, a 15-page paper about why it would be a good idea, where it would be located, how the trucks would go back and forth, um, how shipping would be handled – price basically all of it and in three minutes you can't really say all of that which is why like it's kind of disappointing um, but it's also a great opportunity um, 
Do you want to talk about your expansion caps and like what you decided to make? Um, yeah, so I think I touched on it a little bit before, but um, when I was a senior, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and that kind of like changed my world a bit and that's <coughs> when I got really passionate about what I started making. Um, I would wake up with my hands in a fist and I wouldn't be able to do anything. I couldn't like brush my teeth, I couldn't brush my hair, it's just this like useless fist until like 30 minutes later when the blood finally started um, getting to it and I could like open my hands and do things like a normal person. Um, and so I was thinking about it like, okay, the doctors give me all this medication and they give me these creams and there are these gloves I could wear um, but none of them are really like getting to the root of the problem. They're all just kind of like masking the side effects. Mm -hmm. So I really want to come up with something that hit at like the root of the problem. And so I created a electronic glove that gave your hand passive range of motion. So when you'd be sleeping, the, <laughs> um, the, uh, <laughs> the glove would curl and release. So you'd have an Arduino board here and you'd have strings attached to that. And it, the Arduino board would spin and that would curl your fingers and then it would spin out and it would release your fingers. So you'd all night just be going like this. <laughs> and you'd wake up without the issue of your hands being stiff because all night your blood would be flowing. Right. So that was something I did. Yeah. Well, pretty cool. <laughs> Very exciting. That's pretty cool. Yes. So what else are you looking forward to doing in these next four years at Bradley? Well, for the accounting program, we're here for five years, so, um, okay, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. So it's a three-tier program, which is um, four years of undergraduate and one year of master's, I believe. So in the fifth year, you get to learn about your CPA, well, not learn, but like you are focusing mainly on your CPA and the CPA exam, which certify you, certified public accountant. Um, I'm really looking forward to maybe potentially possibly pitching again. If potentially, potentially possibly, possibly. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Like possibly because there there's a lot to do like on Bradley campus, but um, I think there's also like in the business, like you can do so many different things. Like I don't even know if I'll stick with accounting for the next five years, but <laughs> but um, could do like finance, could do probably not marketing. I don't know, could do something, but I'm really enjoying accounting 157, 158 is next semester. Um, what do you plan on doing after college? Um, well, I think we both plan on traveling together. Yeah. That was still the plan. No. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, I want to start our own business yeah, in Greece. Our dad wants us to start our own business together, and that would be fun. What are we going to do? What are we going to sell? Uh, online plus size dress <laughs> yeah dresses yeah yeah if nobody's thought of it in the next five years i think <laughs> sorry <laughs> we're gonna yeah. start it we're gonna start it yeah so that's our <laughs> yeah yeah that's us i don't yeah, know what are you planning to do after you graduate hmm, that's a great question well <laughs> i always kind of thought that i was gonna go into the like nutrition side of marketing and sales. Um, I just love companies that promote wellness and, you know, more than just like being at the office, like nine to five, um, they care about your kind of like well-being. Um, so that's something that I've always <coughs> thought I'd like to do, um, possibly get a sales um, position at Nike. That'd be awesome. Up and coming. Or not really yeah. up and coming, but <laughs> already there. Already there. <laughs> already there and coming. Pretty established yeah, brand. Pretty established. But um, yeah, that's hopefully at the end of the day. Yeah. What? That's what we want to do. So, thank you guys if you tuned in. We really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions from us, my name is Gabby again. Uh, this is Natalie. <laughs> if you see us around campus or whatever, and you want to say hi, please do. And do the Brave competition because you will not regret it. It's a great way to meet new people and to think of your idea and to
to like say it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks. <laughs>